And I suppose what stood out for all of us really um, is the 51% um, return of the survey. But I think not just the 51%, but the level of interest that the patients took in filling in the, qu the questionnaire, in answering it, and in giving their own views. And um, it's great to see it. You know, it just shows that patients, when they're asked uh, for their opinions, good and bad, that they have no problem in coming forward with them. Well, I think some of them have progressed already really since the report came out because I know in the uh, UL hospital group we have started to look at it already. Uh, once we've seen what patients have come up with as areas of improvement, we have started now to look at them. They're a baseline and we'd love to, obviously the, the idea would be that each year as we go forward, if there's another survey done, which I think that's the plan, uh, that we would see that each of these areas are improved. We need to see improvements in those, in those particular areas. Um, they're difficult ones, um, particularly the one, I suppose, on the uh, emergency department. Um, locally in the U uh, UL hospital group, in our main hospital, uh, we have a new emergency department, a state-of-the-art emergency department that was not included in this particular service. So we will be expecting to see really big results the next time. Um, no, I just think the whole thing is a, it's a, a listening exercise and I think before this um, patients didn't expect to be listened to and you know they were inclined there was some more complaints than uh, more negative than positive remarks always in hospital but it was great to see this time that it was very balanced. Um, the negative areas are areas again as I said that we can now flag as a baseline and look forward to improving these. Uh, the improvements we need to keep up. Oh, I do, I do. It's the first time ever, I think, that uh, patients themselves were able to identify their needs um, and that they were able to communicate this. This Before this, maybe it might have been, uh, you know, that everybody knew what was best for the patient, except the patient themselves. But this is the very first time we've had the patients themselves saying exactly what they think. Yeah. Okay, thank you.